And when it comes to leveling your lawn, one of the biggest questions that we get asked on the channel is, George, should I use sand, soil, or a combination of both? But rather than me tell you guys what to use, I decided to take a trip over here to the pros to see what they have to say. So today we're at Tim Wallace Landscape Supply Store in Bolingbroke, Illinois. This is one of the largest landscape supply stores in the Chicagoland area. And we're with the man himself, Tim Wallace. Thank you so much for inviting me, Tim. Oh, thanks for coming. I really appreciate Can it. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your operation you got going on here? By the way, this is a really beautiful place. Oh, thank you. I've been in business 40 years in the Bolingbroke area. We sell a wide variety of product from decorative stone to mulches trees and shrubs out in our garden center. But what we're really well known for are the specialty soil mixes that we make for all types of different landscaping projects. So Tim, right now on YouTube, there's a growing trend of people that are using straight sand to level their lawn. And if people are tackling these big projects that have major bumps and ruts, that's something I usually don't recommend. But I want to ask the pros and what, what you thought about that. If you're gonna level your lawn, you can use straight sand as long as it's a half inch or less. But any more than that, we recommend that you use 50% topsoil, 50% fine sand, as one thing you don't wanna do is change the composition of your soil. You mentioned that you guys like to use a mix of sand and soil. What exactly are in those mixes? So if anybody's interested in possibly ordering their own top dressing mix, they know exactly what they should put in it. Our top dressing mix consists of 50% dry pulverized topsoil, which is very important, and 50% of a fairly dry, fine sand. And by blending the two together, it gives you a really nice, consistent mix, which is very easy to rake out in your lawn to perform your leveling. One comment I always get on YouTube is exactly what kind of sand people should use when leveling. So can you tell me a little bit about your sand? I know you said it's a fine sand. Can you, what size is it? We screen our fine sand down to 1 32nd of an inch, which when it's mixed with the dirt, it gives it a really nice, fine texture, breezy lawn leveling. So I just looked that up in the metric system to see how much it was, and it's about 0.8 of the millimeter. If any of you guys are curious and make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because we'll be covering exactly how much material you guys need to level your lawn and when i first came here tim you showed me another mix that you had can you tell me about that your organic mix sure one of our other popular mixes are is our lawn repair mix which is 50 percent topsoil 25 percent fine sand and 25 percent purple cow compost and the reason we add the compost is it's an organic compost which is like a natural fertilizer, which also makes it better when you're germinating seed. So if people are leveling their lawn, say in the fall time, they're doing a seeding project, you would recommend using that? Yes, that'd be the ideal product to use. Because the compost has a natural fertilizer in it, we don't have to use any kind of starter fertilizer. No, no starter fertilizer. Nice. If you don't mind, can you give us a tour of your facility and how you guys process top dressing mixes from start to finish? Be glad to. Let's go ahead and walk over there to our uh, pre-blending bin. This here is considered our pre-mixing bin. And what we do here is we bring the different products over, pile them on top of each other, and then take the end loader and then turn the product over. And then from this bin, it goes into our soil blender. We then bring it over here, dump it in the hopper, from the hopper it goes to a, this part of the machine here which has a hammer mill in it which is a bunch of rotating knives. Everything gets blended together up the conveyor belt into the finished product bin. And so earlier today I saw that you guys were loading trucks over here using this machine. What this machine does is after we have your blend roughly mixed together in our mixing bin, we then pull one of our trucks underneath the conveyor. We load your product into the hopper it goes through the machine, it gets all blended together, up the conveyor belt, into the back of the dump truck, and on your way to your house for your delivery. One thing I always stress in my leveling videos is that it's important to have dry material. Because if you want to get that material down into the canopy of the grass, it has to be dry as a bone, otherwise it's going to start clumping up. And the first thing I noticed coming up here is that your soil is really dry and it seems like almost pulverized like a powder. Can you tell me a little bit about how you guys process your soil? We bring this stuff in the previous season. So this soil here is actually from last July when it's hot and dry. When we get it from the dirt field, we pulverize and screen it. And before we deliver it to our customers, we will run it through one of our soil blenders first to get the final, very fine consistency. Also, when we bring our topsoil in, if it's got too much of a moisture content, we will not 
bring it in as it needs to be relatively dry. So we basically, there's loads that we reject. So Tim, one thing I noticed over here at your establishment is that all your material is kept under awning. Is that the trick to making all your stuff so dry? Yes, having uh, the material in these covered buildings makes all the difference in the world. Never gets rained on, never gets snowed on, stays dry, and it makes for a very nice quality product when we deliver it to the customer. A lot of feedback I get from viewers is that they end up ordering material from some dirt supplier and they end up giving them wet material, whether that's sand or dirt. What would you recommend if somebody is in that situation to dry out that material? The correct way to dry out wet material is you have to spread it out in your driveway and then let the sun naturally heat it up, take the moisture out of it. But at the same time, you're also taking a rake and raking it out so the sun can get to it. So Tim, another thing I noticed about your soil back there is that it's really clean. How do you guys get it so clean? Because even the soil over at Home Depot and the bags aren't that clean. Well, we're very, very specific on where we purchase our soil from and we make sure the field or pile, we start with a clean pile and another process to keep it clean is we screen it. And speaking of the screening process, I remember when I did my major leveling, I screened it down to about a half an inch. What do you guys screen your soil to? We usually set our screens at a quarter to three eighths of an inch. So we actually go a little finer than what you've done. All right guys, so I told you I was gonna save one of the best tips for last, and that's how much material you need to specifically level your lawn. So Tim, if people wanna level their lawns, how much material would you say they need, say per thousand square feet? For every 1,000 square feet of lawn that you have, you need approximately a yard and a half of material to go a half inch deep over your yard. And I find that covering about a half inch at a time is a good place to start because a yard and a half of material is a lot of material, especially for people that are ordering multiple yards. I notice in your office you actually have a picture of how much a yard of material is and I remember when I first started leveling I underestimated how much material I needed to level my lawn because that material disappears fast into the ground. Any of the viewers that are thinking about ordering some top dressing material what would you say is the number one thing they need to look for in a supplier? The number one thing is gonna be is make sure that supplier has a machine that actually blends the material together instead of just getting mixed a few times with the bobcat bucket. That just doesn't give a good consistency. So a machine blended product is the way to go. Tim, I wanna thank you so much for inviting me out to your establishment. You got a beautiful place here and an awesome business. If any of the viewers that are watching are in the Chicagoland area, how can they reach you if they're interested in possibly getting some of your mixes? You can call us at 630-759-6813 or you can visit our website, timwallacesoilmixsupply.com. Mm -hmm.